Hi friends, my name is Surender and I am an Angular architect. I have been thinking about creating some tutorial videos on Angular for beginners or for whoever willing to learn Angular from scratch. And finally it's happening now. In this Angular Zero to Hero series, I am going to explain what is Angular, why we need to use Angular in building applications, how we can install and start building Angular applications and different important concepts in Angular using some examples. During the end of this Angular series, I am sure you will be familiar with all the basic concepts needed to become an Angular developer. Before that, I request you to subscribe to my channel and support me. It's a small effort for you to subscribe, but it will be really a lot to me. So please don't forget and also please forward this to your friends. Thanks. I have come across many people who are willing to learn Angular, but they don't have an idea on where to start and how they can proceed. So I thought of creating this learning roadmap. This is the order which I feel one can easily understand Angular concepts. And this is how I have structured this course. Let's start with the basics. As part of this section, let us start with an introduction to Angular. We are also going to see how we can install and start creating an Angular application. How Angular is structured and how an Angular application works in general. Next, let's move to the basic building blocks of an Angular, which is component and then data binding and its types. After that, we will see what is directives and its types. How we can use some inbuilt directives to communicate between different components. And also alternative ways of communication through services and how we can reuse code using services, how we can inject a service on demand. And then routing, an important concept to navigate between pages. We are also going to see what is observables and how it helps us. How we can get user inputs using forms and how we can do form validation easily in Angular. And we can see how we can use some inbuilt pipes to transform data. And we are also going to create some custom pipe and use it in our application. We shall also see how we can use HTTP module to get some data from database. Let's also build a simple app in which we shall use authentication and see how we can use auth guards to protect our routes. And finally, we shall also see how we can divide our application into modules. So many things are coming up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, press bell button and stay tuned. Thank you.